train? Where's the train? I didn't even realise the railroad was there. Unless I can just see all the lights and I'm thinking it's a train, but it's not. <laughs> welcome, welcome to a nighttime vlog. I haven't done one of these for a long time. Gosh, I remember when uh, I used to work in my old job and I always, always was riding home late at night. Though actually it's, it's not really that late. Not as late as I used to work in my old job. <laughs> but there's something about nighttime riding that I just prefer. It's a lot quieter. There's less people in the way. The only annoying thing is though, is because it's quieter and the roads are generally a lot clearer, people do go a lot faster. And so sometimes it can be a bit more dangerous because people aren't paying as much attention. They don't expect someone to be there on the road. So they certainly don't really expect a motorcycle to be there. So sometimes it could be more dangerous, but I just find it so much more peaceful. What about you guys? Do you guys prefer riding at night time or do you hate it? Because I know that some people absolutely despise it. I know that my mum cannot stand driving at night. She hates it. She feels like she can't see as well as she can in the daytime, which is kind of true, especially if your prescription is not tip top. Your eyes might not be as good. Oh, here we go. Let's merge on. Yeah, as you can see, my indicators are working again. <laughs> Finally, the new relay came. So, bike is working, indicators are working. My chain is now tightened. The only thing I have left to do really is actually to pump up my tires. So I might do that on the way home. Otherwise, I'll end up forgetting and leaving it for way too long. Oh, it's cold. It's cold. I actually had snow on my seat. I actually did. And I had to scrape it off and kind of punch it off. Oh, it's a bit dodgy with uh, not very pumped up tyres. God, having your visor open just makes you instantly colder. Like so much more so when your face is cold. Jesus, I thought it was just the hands, but no. I feel 10 times colder now. I don't know if they really need their high beams on, but it's kind of nice to know someone's actually using their lights, I guess. Oh. oh my god, my fingers are dying. Oh my god. That one's there. Oh god, it's on a hill. One pound minimum. Do you know what? There was one nearby where I used to live that... No, it was when, when I lived in the city, there was one there. And you could literally put in 20p for like five minutes. And I was like, that's perfect, because I don't need it for like forever. I only need it for a short amount of time. Ipondo. That's how you say one pound in Japanese. 25 PSI. Ah, my cap. Oh, God. There we go. What are we? 22. There we go. There's one. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Touching the metal has just destroyed my hands. They are frozen now. 29 on the back. Oh god, this was a horrendously bad idea. Oh my god. This was so fucking complicated. Come on, you dickhead. Stupid thing on its point in the wrong fucking way. Doesn't help, does it? Do it this way then. Oh. 26 on the rear, that's quite bad. Oh, my fingers are cold. Oh, that was a really bad idea. 
my hands are going to die now. See, all I have to do is touch something cold and that's it. My hands die. Just look at them. Just look at them. They're fucked now.